Hey guys, Akil Mohadeen here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an automatic file backup system so whenever any file in a specified folder is changed, it automatically backs up to a location of your choosing, and it does so in the background without you even noticing. So to get started, you're going to need a free piece of software called Free File Sync that can be downloaded from the link in the description. Now while installing, be sure to decline all the requests for third-party bloatware software to be installed as well. Once the software has been installed, two new programs should appear on your desktop. Click on the green one first. Now in this box, choose a location you want to back up from. For me, I want to back up my music folder, so I'll navigate to that and then click Select Folder. Also note that you can choose multiple locations to back up from. Next, choose a location you want to back up the files to and create a new folder with the name of your choice. I'm going to name my backup folder the same as the folder I'm backing up, so it'll be called My Music. Next, click here and choose Mirror. Mirror is what most of you want to use because it will make the old folder and the new folder have the exact same contents all the time. Now before you exit out, make sure Close Progress dialog is in the Upon Completion box, and also make sure the Detect Move Files box is checked. Now go to File and Save as Batch Job. Now here just choose a name and save it to the desktop. If you want, you can check the Run Minimize Check box. Now go open the red icon program called Real Time Sync. Go to File, Open, and then browse for the batch file you made earlier, which should be on the desktop. Now you should see the different folder locations for the backup appear. Change the idle time setting down to zero, and then press File, Save As, and then save it to the desktop. You should see a new file appear on the desktop with the same red icon as the Real Time Sync program, but the name of the file you just created. If so, go to Start and type in Run. If the Run program doesn't appear, then press the Windows key and R. Now in the Run dialog box, type in Shell, colon, Startup and press enter. Then drag and drop your new file into the folder and you're done. Now if you want to keep your desktop tidy, you may delete the free file sync and real time sync shortcuts, but you cannot delete the batch backup file you made earlier. Instead, click on properties and then make the file hidden. It'll disappear, but the computer will still know it's there. So whenever you boot up now, the program will automatically start keeping the folders equal and synchronized and will continue to do so until the computer shuts off. And it'll do this in the background. A program won't even appear in the taskbar. If you want a program to appear and to tell you that the synchronization is over, then back when you made that setting and check for the program to run minimized, make it unchecked. Okay guys, so I hope you found that video useful. And if so, please drop a like and maybe subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.